How's it been in your first camp now in Boulder? It's been great. Just trying to take it day by day, get better day by day on the film, in the film room, you know, off the field, all the other stuff. So I would say it's going, it's going good. How much of a draw was Robert Livingston to coming through this program, having just worked with NFL DBs? You guys obviously were dream going to the NFL. Oh, it's, it's, it's good. For me, I would say, because I'm a man man guy, so, and he play, we play a lot of man, so it's been good uh, getting to know him, you know. In the defense, he was. Yeah, like it's really, it's really just like preparing us for the next level, you know, running the NFL star defense. So yeah, we just really getting a head start. Both of you guys played quite a bit and did well at your previous stops. What made you want to come here and um, you know, have something new here at Colorado? Good person. I say really just being coached by the best in my position. You know, you can't beat that. Like a gold jacket coaching you at your position. Like I'm just taking it all in every day, just learning something new. I would say the same thing. I didn't really get coached the best in uh, my position last year. So just being able to play for the best, you know, Dion, the best to ever do it in my position. So just learning from him and taking it in to get to the next level. Got a question. Hey, how you guys doing? I'm Kevin Russell, uh, under the radar. <laughs> I know y'all in a new defense, right? So um, how the communication been? I know y'all got some new two bit for the safeties back there. How communication been to y'all guys on that side? Been a little bumpy yeah. from, from, from my side, from yeah. my side. Yeah. Like me communicating to y'all, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's really but corners. I can get better. I can get better. It will be the corners guys. communicating to safeties more of the time. Okay. Yeah. I'll be locked so, in so a lot. So, 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 so it's, a, it's a long ball and they, they score it on corners, right? No. They don't have uh, It's uh, not going to happen. So how does it feel to have uh, Shavo Sanders playing on the top of you? It's great, man. You know it's great. I, I can trust that SI rap going to be covered, man. Yeah, yeah. sir. <laughs> Same. Appreciate y'all guys, man. What have you learned from Shadow? Nothing. We play different. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know. I play Nicholas, so I mean, you know. It's supposed to be one of the best wide receiver cores in the country. How is it going up against those guys? There's, it feels like there's a lot of combination of size, speed, and strength at those positions. It's good. I think we're going to excel, especially in the wide receiver room. You know, we get them better, they get us better day by day. So I would and say it's going good. Has anybody stuck out to you yet? Um, I mean, of course, Legante, Jimmy, uh, Shep been doing pretty good on the jump balls. You know, he got good ball skills, so that's all I would say for right now. You guys both played for teams that won a lot of games last year. Do you see similarities in the in the culture from, from your teams last year to here? I wasn't here last year, and I know they didn't do, do too good, but I can tell just get, being here this year, I can tell the team is going a lot together, you know, everybody. It's cool with each other. We talk a lot, you know, so I would say, yeah. I say, like, the first thing you got to do really is just build that chemistry. So, like, once you build the chemistry, I feel like nobody can really stop us. You know, it's early days in fall camp, but how would you describe the defense overall? What are you seeing on the field? Either of you? I'm seeing everything. We all run into the ball. We see the ball, get ball, you know. So, Hunger. Yeah. Trevor was, saying, Trevor was saying the other day that Coach Livingston did a good job simplifying the defense for you guys. Is that something you've kind of experienced as well? Like, how, how has the communication gone with him as far as you guys running the scheme and things like that? I would say he makes it pretty pretty simple, you know. I don't, I don't really think they would play that we are really confused on, you know. So everything's pretty simple and to the point. Yeah, like the installs, like he breaks it. Our position coaches, Coach Livingston, they break it down good enough to where we, we just take notes, you know, go out in practice and then just implement it. What should fans expect out of the Colorado secondary this season? Probably the best secondary in the nation. The Ooh. best secondary in the nation. Give us an individual <laughs> interception prediction for both uh, I'm of you guys. A, what, for me? Yeah, what's your goals of interception? Interception? I probably had like four this year. I'm going to have like 10 PBUs, probably like 40, 50 tackles. Oh, that boy go first round. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what about you? I'm going to say like three interceptions, at least one pick six. I need a pick six. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Hey, for both of you guys, uh, you mentioned you want to come here and learn from Coach Prime. Yes, sir. You've been here since the spring. What have you learned? Uh, what's one thing you guys, each of you have felt like you've learned from Coach Prime? I would say be learning the down the distance when I'm covering somebody and knowing how to play it. And then also, I'd probably say switching it up, you know, when I'm guarding somebody, not doing the same thing every time I'm guarding them, you know, maybe press, play off, just, just show them different types of different types of scenarios. Yeah. Know? I would say the same thing, you know, just pre-snap everything, you know, just make sure we're not doing the same thing. You know, we always got him in the, uh, behind us saying, hey, switch it up, two forward, switch it up. So, you know, yeah. we just try to do it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the slot and outside. Uh, I mean, well, yeah, since, yeah. since the start, probably not too much. Today was really I, I played uh, outside and nickel, so I would say just today, not too too much though. But we got like some calls, you know, where we like traveling yeah. in the slot, like the down position, like, position like, like really stuff like that. So corners and nickels, you know, won't be in the slot or outside, you know, it can happen. That's something we heard last about in the, in the spring, just kind of the versatility, especially with Travis. He played almost exclusively outside last year. I mean, what is it like seeing him kind of go inside? And pressing for you is mostly because you guys seem to be flipping a little bit. What's yeah. that like switching you guys? Pretty easy. We both, I mean, we're comfortable, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're athletes, you know, so it's not it's not a difference playing outside and inside. We can, we can do it all. It's basically just showing their versatility, really. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I appreciate you talking about it.